All right. <clears throat> so it is Valentine's Day. I felt. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we're going to spend Valentine's Day together. I love that. <laughs> is, uh, do we have a dinner coming or what? I can fix something real quick. All right. Yes. I'm going to go down to Rouse's downstairs and get see. some wine <laughs> for us. So, um, <clears throat> Thank you for uh, inviting me in today to your home. Oh, you're welcome. In your studio. Um, we did a nice video a while ago showing all your work. I'm trying to catch my breath from moving around. Yes. <clears throat> um, so, uh, just to tell everybody, your name is Isabel Jacobin. Jacobin, yes. Jacobin, and you are from France. From France. From France. So, you are real French, and I am like a... A, a mix, a mixed breed French yes. from down here. I don't know if I'm a real French now because I, I, I have such a passion for New Orleans that I feel New Orleans as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, when did you come to New Orleans? When was the, what year you come to New Orleans? I came um, twenty six or twenty seven years ago for a trip. Uh huh. Uh, I went to the place for one month, but I, I knew the day after I arrived that the part of my life will be in New Orleans. Hmm. I had this intuition, you know, I, I sketch live when I travel and I sit on the, the, the bench on the sidewalk and the people were coming to me very interested in my sketches. So I met friends the first week, I met customers. I even found a gallery to work with, so it was really, really like a, I had a good start with New Orleans. 27 years ago? Yes. Um, that must have been, the whole scene out here must have been a lot different. Was there more galleries? Was there less galleries than there is now? I Maybe a little more, but I didn't know the city. I was discovering everything. I Maybe a little more, not sure. Um, it was very artistic. Okay. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. And then, but over those 27 years, you've been going back and forth to France, sharing your time, right? Yes. Yeah, so the first years, uh, since I found a gallery on Magazine Street to work with, I was coming like three, four times a year for openings to bring paintings. And then um, it was the year January, right after Katrina. Um, I took the decision to rent a place here. Mm -hmm. My kids were adults, they had a job, they didn't need their mother full time. <laughs> so um, I decided to spend six months here, six months in France. And um, now it's more nine months in New Orleans and three months in France. But I keep going back to France, first because I have family and um, kids and grandkids and I keep a studio there that I will open in the summertime. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> now we're in her apartment, the windows are here, uh, the streets are very loud, the cars passing, <laughs> so I don't know how well, you know, it's picking up sound, but we could like raise our voice a little bit too, to make uh -huh. sure they hear, they could turn their TV up or whatnot. Um, so. You're doing, you know, six months here. No, six, it's nine. nine. Nine months here. And three months in France. Which place do you like to be more? I would say New Orleans. Yeah? Right now. Yes. Why? Uh, I think art is important in New Orleans. Uh -huh. It's not just the music, it's all type of art. Um, and being an artist is... It's not something special because there are so many artists everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, so you meet artists like we, we did, and it, and we talk about art a lot, and mm -hmm. I, I love that. Yeah, and um, what I was going to say just now. So you like it here more because uh, you feel alive because of what's going on outside. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. I, I get that too. You know, when I'm out here. And when I spent my years in here, every day you see people moving and, and things going on and you feel alive yes. as opposed to living somewhere where there's nothing going on and you feel maybe, you know, yes. I feel dead, you know. And it's so good to have this kind of 
kind of conversation. Like we meet and you say, oh, tell me you, you use pallet knives. And, and you know, since painting is my passion, I love talking about pallet knife, about yeah. oil, about <laughs> the size of my canvases. And you will tell me, oh, I tried something. This yeah. is what I love. So <laughs> and you meet artists here, yeah, you can easily talk about that. Yeah. So I had a conversation with my other guest, Tanner. We were talking about how we, we're so much different in the process, what yes. we use, how we do it. Yes. Same with you. We, we do completely different processes, but the end result is we have a, a painting. Yes, and the discussion is uh, bringing uh, something higher. We, I learn from you, you learn from me, yeah. and then uh, we, it's so interesting to share. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. And, um, you know, just to, uh, for people that could watch these videos and they might not know you, that they know me, introduce them to your work, <clears throat> your life, your, you know, what you're doing, and, um, but yes, like the process of what you do compared to what I do compared to what he does down the yes. street and so and so is so different. And there's so many more people doing a completely different way, a process. Yes. But we are at the end result, we are artists surviving. Yes. We're buying food, uh, <laughs> living under a roof. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so it's amazing. And um, so you enjoy your time here more from France. I did notice uh, a while back you posted teaching like a school or something in France. I was, I had a, a short trip to France uh, recently in, in January and my granddaughter uh, invited me to a class to talk about being an artist, uh, how it works, how, and it was so, um, so rich, such a beautiful time we had together. and. Uh, the kids were asking questions, uh, um, all type of questions about art. And I'm so glad that at the end, and we didn't see the time going it, we spent one hour and a half talking, very uh, a nice conversation. And at the end I say, so who wants to become an artist? Everybody said me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I like if I can share this passion because uh -huh. I see most of the time the teachers or the parents or the, the general system doesn't encourage kids to become an artist. Right. So I like to share this experience and I am at this age where I can say, yes, you can live <laughs> with your painting. You, right. if you, if you, it's your passion. Just you will work, and you will live with your live with your painting. Right. right. Yes, that's so important to share that. Right. I was I was talking about that. Like in school, I couldn't focus on the school work because it didn't interest me. Yes. I was drawing comic books and cartoons. Yes, I understand that. And then and for doing that, I got in trouble. Yes. You know, like oh, you're in trouble. D's F. D's F. Yes. You know, so like. Why am I punished for doing my passion? Exactly. You know, like I should be, they should evaluate people like me, you, and say, okay, this person doesn't want to do these subjects. They are artists. Yes. Let's put them in a, a thing. Their school is focusing on their art. Exactly. I don't, I don't need all that other stuff. And I think now maybe um, the, the, the system is more open to artists mm -hmm. and my childhood it was not at all yeah. especially in a religious school uh, there was no room for artists in a, right. in a small village in Brittany in a, 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 a school uh, when the teacher was a nun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes. what what religion school was that a Catholic Catholic okay yes. I, I grew up uh, Catholic in the Catholic churches and whatnot also yes yeah. sure. <clears throat> but yeah like in school they, if they see a child like that they're not doing any schoolwork and can't focus on schoolwork and they're doing art or something. Yes. Put them in, in a program or something to continue. Yes, yes. And At least allow them to do what they are doing. Yeah. If they are not <laughs> back to the, the class, right. just leave this yeah. little kid drawing and, instead and of, paint instead your of, portrait yeah. or draw your portrait. Instead of punishing us. Yes, absolutely. Because that's all I got was fussed, oh. punished, 
uh, I, I you know, know that bad but, stuff. Yes, and that that's not right. Yes. Um, you know, sometimes I think about like, uh, maybe like teaching people what I know. Yes. <clears throat> you know, I'm not, I'm not a. Uh, I don't know what's the, the qualifications of teaching an art class or whatnot, like in school, college. Yes. But, you know, just taking what I know over 20 years, yes. my whole life, and, and teaching younger people what I know how to do. You know, I did, and I, I did in a school, like I'm one year at the Ecole Bilingue in New Orleans, but also in my studio, and I, I was always starting seeing I am not a teacher, but I'm a painter. I want to share my experience. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know about the technique to teach to a class, but I, I want to share. Right. So I, I mm -hmm. know I can do that. The, that's what I was doing in France uh, at the school. Yes. And, yeah, and to me, if you take a successful artist that is surviving as an artist, yes, they did something right to be able to do this for a living. Yes. Let them share their knowledge and their path yes. with other people of how they did that. And it's interesting also if you can tell kids how, as a kid, you started to be interested in art. Like how did you, what age, yeah. how old were you when you realized that art exists? Do right. you remember that? Yeah, I was, <clears throat> it must have been like a... Uh, fourth grade or fifth grade in the 80s yes. and you know the simpsons yes and the ninja turtles yes that came out okay so we would be in the cafeteria trying to draw bart simpson oh. in the ninja turtles and uh we would have to hide it because the the, the teachers and stuff <laughs> would walk around and we would get in trouble so every day trying to draw bart simpson perfect oh wonderful you know <laughs> and that just carried on into you know the the comic books like Marvel, Spider Man, yes, all that stuff. Yes, and there is something in your art right now. There's something like maybe coming from this. From that, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, huh? <clears throat> so then I, I got into the comic books, and I would I would draw comic book characters all the time, and then I tried to make my own comic book. Okay. And then uh, you know as I got older. I took one one uh, semester art class in high school. It did nothing for me. Yes. Right. Yes. So then, in my early twenties, I um, I got into tattooing, and I had a magazine, and it had uh, paintings in there of people painting like crazy stuff, and I I was never introduced to that as a painting, just like drawings. Yes. And I was like wow, I can do a painting of this stuff, this crazy stuff, and it's art, mm. you know? And they take it serious. So I, I went and I bought this little, um, the little tubes at Walmart, oh, like I, the cheap paint, acrylic, the little buckets, okay. oh, you know? Yes. And I still have the painting at my house. It oh. was an eyeball. Oh, okay. And this was uh, 2004. Was it a revelation? Was it like, you? When you try, you say, this is what I want to do. Well, I did it, and then I was like, okay, let me try something else. Because I had no idea how to, to use the paint or, or yes. anything. And uh, I painted an eyeball, and then I did like a little voodoo doll, and I just kept going and going. Yes. And as I got further, it became an addiction. Yes, I understand. <clears throat> and uh, I, I never stopped, and then I... At the same time, I got into the tattoo business, and that paid my bills. Yes. But when I got home at night, my passion was painting. Oh. You know, paint, paint, paint. And I did that for many, many years because I just loved to do it, and I would never sell anything because where I'm from, it that wasn't like a, a thing that yes. people knew of to oh. collect, buy art. But um, I always did it. And even without selling or making money, I did it because it's my passion. Yes. So, um, but I fought very hard and never stopped so I can one day make a living off of my paintings. Yes, you yes. Know? And oh. it, that day finally came, 2016 or 17. Okay. And I came out here. Yes. And, and you are doing well. When I was introduced yes. to this world, I didn't know about it. Yes. 
And and once I did that, I was like, boom, it's gone, you know. Oh. So now, thankfully, uh, I survive off of online sales, you know, because I got out of here with the COVID stuff and whatnot. But, um, you know, we both kind of work similar. We yes. sell online yes. or uh -huh. you uh -huh. have access to these people out here. Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So that, that was kind of my story, how I got to this point. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, I have the same type of story, but I, uh, I had this passion. Uh, I, I started to draw, I think, when I was, I don't know, <clears throat> three or four years old. My parents, and I'm not raised in an artistic, <laughs> I don't have an artistic background, and my family was not in the artistic world. My, my parents were butchers. Okay. So pork butcher. So I was raised in meat. <laughs> they have a, they had a small shop selling everything about pork. My father was killing the pork in the in the pig across the the, 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 the courtyard um, from my bedroom. So I was raised in meat and meat and blood and uh, and I started to to draw in this the little notebook that you have in the shop where you write the price for uh, Boudin. For yeah. <laughs> so by myself, I was like an introvert kid and um, I was drawing with a pencil, very small drawings because nobody was um, teaching me or telling me, oh, that's good. So I, I, I had to hide a little bit this drawing. And I remember my first drawing where houses, plants of houses, like if I'm an architect, like I understood that you can watch from above and, and, and draw like the plan for house and how the door opens. So I, oh, I draw a lot of houses. Almost like a blueprint. Maybe, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. And I always wanted to, to do a classical dancing and I, 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 I never did. So I was drawing dancers. Uh, and horses, so that, uh, but all the time, all the time, all the time, and it was like you say, like an obsession. Yeah. Small drawing, small, small. Nobody around me was interested in art, yeah. and I remember yeah. when I realized what's art, and I was very young, like maybe six or seven, and I never saw a painting before or nothing artistic, and I saw. <laughs> a chocolate box with um, Renoir, a painting by Renoir on uh -huh. top of the chocolate box. And um, and I look and say, oh, what's that? Who Who is that? Who did that? And I was kind of, I don't like this naked woman, <laughs> too fat, too white. Someone took a picture. No, it's not a picture. And at the back, you have the name of the painter, Renoir. And I said, that's a painting, someone painted this naked woman on a ch my chocolate box. <laughs> I think it's the first day when I realized what the painting can do. And um, it was uh, interesting. I didn't like the painting and I'm still not very fond of Renoir, maybe <laughs> since this day. Yeah. But um, that, that was very like um, personal and I was so uh, fortunate when I turned 13 I, I didn't have a good relationship with my mother and she was always saying oh if you are not happy just leave or just find a job and I'm, I'm just 13 and I found a job in a little shop but it was a gallery selling um, it was for holidays and weekends but uh, she it was a small small gallery and she was the lady was selling art supplies and postcards oh. and she was such a wonderful lady and I discovered this world and I did it was the, the, the time of the lithographs so a lot lithographs of, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and she this lady was so nice and giving me so much responsibilities explaining me uh, giving me samples to try the pen the, the paint and so I I entered into this world and oh, I yeah. discovered like Toulouse Lautrec. I love Toulouse Lautrec. I love, Lautrec. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna check the camera, make sure oh, it's yes. still good. 
I love Toulouse Lautrec. Yep, it's good. Yes, so it was like how I entered really in, into this world. And um, um, what happened, I, I had to make my. So I was drawing, uh, not painting that much because of the money. I didn't have that much money to buy pen, so I was drawing. Um, and I tried, like you did. One year uh, out school when I was seventeen, but I I didn't like that. It was the time where art was art schools were more conceptual, and I just wanted to learn how to paint um, with oil, how to. So I, I didn't like the art school, and in the meantime, I had to start to make my living uh, because I was turning eighteen. So I purchased a few. Um, <laughs> Some, some silk, a few um, ink for silk, and I painted scarves. Um, and I started to sell on the street, and my scarves sold very well. Mm. So it was, I always made my living with my painting. Mm. So it was painting on silk, so after the scarves, I was painting lampshades and everything mural. So uh, for maybe 10 years, it was my job. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, when did you, was that with brushes, right? Yes. When did you make the change using just the palette knife? Um, so after the silk, I, I transitioned to pastel for like maybe another eight or 10 years. And then in 2004, I had a trip to Cuba. And back from Cuba, I say to myself, I need to find a medium allowing me to paint big with a texture. And, uh, and I'm like you, I'm not trained, I'm self-taught, so I say maybe oil. And my friends, artists say, no, Isabel, you like to paint fast, oil takes time to dry. I say, I want to, to try. So I just purchased a few tubes um, and I had brushes and I had one palette knife so I started my first painting, I have my canvas and the easel, and I, I take a brush and I want to, to paint a background like a sky or something. And I say to myself, oh, that's boring because you spend more time to clean your brush than, <laughs> than painting. Yeah. So I'm glad I had one palette knife. So I took the palette knife and I, I tried, I said, that's for me because I don't have to spend hours to clean my brush. So, yeah. so this first painting, I see, I, I still have it in France. Uh, started with brush and finished with palette knife, and uh, then I purchased a few more palette, palette knife. Different and I sizes. Love, yes, and I love. I still love, love, love that. Yeah. And I feel more confident now. So I use more and more paint, and I, I don't mind. I, I, I don't think about the cost of the pen because it, it's expensive yeah. I mean, yes but i don't want to think about that and um so i i, I use more and more and i lo i love the texture yeah it you know like <clears throat> i have some palette knives at home and i do a couple of things yes. with it but not what you're doing you know like with the details and it's crazy you know, like, are you getting in there with like a little tiny ones? And oh, not that tiny. No. And what I like with the palette knife, it's that um, I I can't go to the details too much because I don't want to go to go too close to the details. But um, it but it does have but some, it, does, it does have. Yes. Some, I'm looking at that one over there. Yes. I mean. There's some details, like I, you yes. might be using like the edge of it or something, like scraping yes, it in. Yes, yes. <laughs> and actually I have, I don't know how many palette knives I have, maybe 30 or 40, but I use maybe just five of them, always the same. And yeah. I, I feel confident with them. But I mean, you know, like on the tuba ones, it almost looks blended, you know? Yes, uh-huh, yes. You yeah. can do that yeah. if you work with the um, the wet paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can blend the, the, the paint together on your on your canvas. Yeah, and <clears throat> so you finish a painting, and you hang it up, and you just let it dry like that. You yes. Leave it hanging. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And how long does it take for a paint one of those to dry? 
I will before say, you sell it, before yes, you sell uh, it. Yes, like if a customer comes to my studio, I just finish a, a painting and I say, if you want it cheap, let's wait one month and a half. But it will be dry to touch like after two weeks. But I will not take the risk to ship it because, you know, since I use a texture, I, I don't want like in the, the shipping like someone yeah. smash it or something. But um, maybe two months, three months, because I so I combine with my paint a special painting butter, allowing me to paint thick, and there's a little dryer in this painting butter, so it dries a little faster. Because if you don't use that, um, it will take months to dry. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. I, I did some uh, oil paintings a few years ago. Yes just the regular oil yes and I was super fast yes like I would do these uh portraits 30 minutes yes it was so fast to work with the oil like, oh yes huh? <clears throat> but uh there's just different things I can do with acrylic exactly uh, you know like that I feel good and, and like comfortable like what I do on paper I use acrylic on paper okay with brushes yeah. yes Yes. Yeah, there's just certain things I can do that I've been doing for years, and it's it's quick for me. I'm fast with it. Yes, sir. Huh? And with oil, I can't do those things. Exactly. So, so that's kind of why I, I don't jump back into the oil. Yes, <clears throat> and um, I will show you later. I I also try um, oil with palette knife on a heavy uh, brown paper, and it's interesting because you can paint fast and the paper absorbs the oil so it dries fast as well oh, okay and it's an interesting result different from the canvas it's on paper so it's a, a more matte or um, it's interesting i like that too hmm. I, I love to try I, yeah. I love to uh, you know my favorite for valentine's you can take me to an art supply shop a huge one and I can spend the day. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. So <clears throat> what I asked this question to people that are in here. Um what about this place, the French Quarter, New Orleans, what what benefits you that's good and what are some things that give you some trouble that are bad that you run a problem into a problem with oh i would say it's 99 percent good because um i love being here i love this corner and i can stay in my studio because that's my everyday it's painting in my studio it's like the city comes to me mm -hmm. i don't have to go outside that much yeah. i have live music <laughs> i have all this entertainment like yeah. those parades that so I can be here, windows are open, and I have all the city, I can breathe New Orleans. Yeah, this, this block, this particular corner, yes. is, is like, a, like a concert venue. Yes, it downstairs. is. Huh? Like outside, you have a concert every day, all day. Yes, so just the 009 person I don't like is like this guy who probably drunk was pushing my 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 bell at three o'clock in the morning oh, and yeah. so it can be noisy of course mm -hmm. uh, i live above the grocery store so the trucks come early to just to drop to stuff the, off yes. yeah but i'm not complaining i'm not complaining i just go i wake up and i go back to sleep uh, very easily so no i love love being here yeah yes i i wake up every morning happy and it's like a dream <laughs> yeah. yeah am i here <laughs> yeah you know uh I, all the time i think about that i said it in the previous interview for you know for people in today's world with the internet and how so many things is getting pushed to people yes buy this subscribe to this you know amazon and companies yes sell you this clothes shoes video games cars for people to take their hard-earned money and to buy what we offer to the world yes, yes. It, you know i don't even know the odds of that you know it's a it's a blessing that people support us 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, it's a true blessing that people in, spend their hard-earned money with us I on artwork it. Yes. that we can survive and keep doing this. Yes, I'm so thankful. I'm so... Yes, and we have, and I'm sure you have some, some customers who support yeah. you and buy two, three, four paintings. I have some people with 30 paintings oh, and more. Yes. And, you know, I think one of the messages I would like to continue putting out there is to spread that to more people like it's important for more people to invest in artists exactly. so we can continue doing what we're doing and and you know just show support yes because, you know it's sometimes it's not that easy we'll get into rough patches of like yes. you know some rough times yes so and when you look back to the history you see that art is uh, vital it's you can't live without art right. even in the dark times of the history art was there to yeah. help the artist to help people people were just hiding to try to listen a little music or try to witness something with a draw a drawing or something so art is vital and um, internet will not um, change that it, right. It's a tool, it's a fabulous tool, but uh, what you do, what I do, um, all the artists are bringing something uplifting, I think, mm -hmm. um, yes. And it's, you know, uh, another thing for me, why I wanted to do these videos is, you know, like, if I have this group of people, they may, they may never ever know of you or him or yes, that person exactly. to introduce them to you and your work. And um, just to keep spreading it. Yes, absolutely. To, to, to kind of just help others. Yes. Uh, to, put to your work kids. out there. Yes. Yeah. I like when uh, a school come and visit my studio with a group of kids. I'm always open to that. Always. Yeah. And I like to explain them the everything, the palette knife, the the the, the canvas. I. I prepare something so they can try and um, I love doing that. Right. Yeah. And you know, like to like, um, to spread each other's work, like some of my people to you and to him and to him. Yes, yes. And then, you know, maybe if you repost it, some of your people might say, okay, who's yes, this guy? Yes. And come look on my page and be like, oh, I like his stuff too. Exactly. It's <clears throat> when, a, when we share and we sh um, absolutely, it's yeah, important. Not being like, you don't want to be selfish. Like, I want everyone to see your work. I want everyone to see his work, you know? And there is no competition in No, that. there's no rules. No, no. You know, uh, I was saying this, <clears throat> art is like one of the few careers where there's no rules yes you're right you could do anything you yes. could you could make anything you want you're an artist nobody can tell you that's not right exactly yes because you created it out of your mind yes you know yes nobody's gonna come in here and say this painting is not correct you need to change <laughs> it you know like exactly yes it, it's you your own uh ruler your own yes you uh -huh. know the, uh -huh. you're the creator Maybe even more than music, because music, you have some patterns you have to follow most of the time. I think with painting, you can do whatever It's the want. To, to me, it's like the ultimate freedom. No rules. Yes, huh? The, you know, like, and you could go any direction you want. Absolutely. You know, tomorrow you could start painting cartoons. Yes. The next, yes. the next week, you could do cars. Uh, and you can take every uh, every medium. Like in this room, you can create with plaster. You can create with wood. You can yeah. create with metal. You can create with fabric. You can use everything you want. We could go collect all the garbage out of the cans. Yes. Get some glue. Yes. And, and make some collages on yes. the canvas. Yes. Throw paint over it. Yes. Hang it in here. Somebody's gonna come in and buy it. Uh, yes. I, I bet and, you. That. And from that you find the suddenly the idea taking you to another chapter. another level. Yes. Another chapter. Another yes. another evolution. Uh -huh. You know, uh, in my career, I've done uh, so many different types of merchandise. You know, from 
scarves to clothing, hats, bags, toys, pins, stickers, all kind of stuff. Mm. And art's the same. Like I've done wood collage out of wood. I've done uh, paper, uh, oils, acrylics, watercolors, drawing pencils, tattoos. Yes. You know, um, I could get. I've done sculpture. Um, I mean, there's just no rules. Is the the world is is your playground? Yes, and no limit. Yes. No limit at all. Yeah. You know, and to me, we're very very lucky. Oh, I, absolutely. And sometimes when. Like like the faces, I, the, the painting I told you I was doing with oil and um, paper, they started because I never put in trash the left paint on my palette. And so at the end of the day, I have to put this paint somewhere. And yeah. I have this stock of, uh, stock of interesting paper, and I say, and I love to paint faces, just two eyes, one nose, and a mouse and it's someone so i was just like the mechanic like doing that and i see oh that's interesting and since that i was in france and i was painting more landscape so i had on my palette blue green brown so <coughs> there are little bluish faces and that's how I started this series of faces and um, yeah with something I was not planning to do, just not to waste the, right. the pen. I, I had that same thing. Uh, I had too much paint one time. And I was like, man, I don't want to no. waste it. So I had an empty canvas sitting over there. And at the end of every night, I would take the leftovers and just go, Good. just make marks, right? Yes. And after a few weeks, I'm like, wow, look at this. It was like an abstract painting. Uh -huh. So then I took it and, and threw it up and then put um, real focus into it yes. and it became my first abstract painting huh. you know so oh, that yeah. was that was crazy and then then it became a style yes that yeah. I did uh -huh. you know? so and I, I believe it comes from deep inside you yeah yes uh -huh. definitely definitely yeah. Oh, how interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> we could talk hours for hours that. and hours yeah <laughs> but um, I think we're at about 30 minutes now. I got, uh, we have our video where we did the walkthrough of your work. And um, so if people want, I'm going to tag your page. Okay. Uh, you have Instagram, you have Facebook. Facebook, yes. What else you have? Um, that's all. Okay. And those are just under your name. Yes. Huh? So I would say. Go to my Instagram, Isabel Jacopin, I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E-J-A-C-O-P-I-N. Mm -hmm. And I have another one, it's Isabel Jacopin Paintings. Okay. I just put the paintings there. Okay. Uh, on the first one, I put the paintings, but also videos from my balcony and like the New Orleans lifestyle. So it's interesting if you are interested in, the, yeah. in New Orleans. So let's say somebody goes to your page they like this picture or something they see how do they buy it? you have a website I, I don't have a website but just i i will tell them just take script screenshots of what you like message me and i will send you all the information and you can also contact me through messages on instagram and facebook and um, if you are looking for if you have a special budget or you need a special size or uh, you are thinking about a special subject or I'm, I'm very um, open to that I answer uh, fast and I can send you pictures so uh, this is how we communicate and it's yeah. very easy that's pretty much how I work too yes if they like something send me the picture I give them the price exactly you buy it like that yes okay that's good so what I'll do is um, when I post these videos, I'm going to tag you. Okay, perfect. They can follow you, um, check out your work, check out the lifestyle here, and um, message you to buy a painting. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, that was very interesting. I'm so glad we spent this time together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you for allowing me in your home, and uh, I'm going to get these videos posted soon, and 
hopefully I can get you some new people. I will keep you posted. Yes. To like your stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. And the same thing. I will share your contact name and uh, Instagram and everything. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Isabel. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>